Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. I'm going to show you three different ways to do this. And they're all going to get a little bit different, uh, different result. We're going to draw a rectangle, turn it to a curve, get our twirl tool, and we're going to twirl that corner. Don't have to twirl it too much for this video to see. Now what you can do is, well, you know what we should have done? Well, we'll leave it like that. Because now if I hit the plus key on my keyboard and mirror it the other way, I get that. And that will work. So if you've got a lot of lines to delete, so we'll just move those over. Hit the plus key again and mirror it the other way. And then move that section down. The only, the only problem with this, it maybe or maybe not be a perfect square anymore because we move some stuff by hand. Then if you take the... Um, smart fill tool, you'll get that. The other way to do that is take a rectangle a little bit smaller, convert it to a curve, get the twirl tool. That's too big, but we'll make it two inches. Let me zoom in here. Now, the only difference is this is going to make our twirls differently, but we're going to control D and make a duplicate double click on it and make the rotation that node and rotate it 90 degrees. Control D, Control D. Now we can take our virtual segment delete key and delete that. The only difference is, is our curves are on the opposite. They're really pretty cool, but they're not going together or apart. They're all going the same direction. Now you can do the same thing and maybe easier with the so, symmetry tool. Let's go to object. Let's go ahead and convert this to a curve. Go to object symmetry, which is only available in X8 and above. And you can see it made this symmetry. So let's take this line and butt it up against it and then hit two. And then take this, let's move this. I'm going to move that line back. It's got to be dead on. Uh, this isn't as hard as I'm making it. So yeah, I'm, I need to hold down the control button. Then I get a perfect. So now this is our original one. So I'm going to take my twirl tool and just twirl it and watch what happens to the other ones. Then take the virtual segment delete key and delete these lines. I'm not perfectly... Uh, set on that. So let's try this. Let's try finishing them. Break link apart. And let's see what it looks like. See, those aren't touching. Uh, but if they were touching, this would be perfect. Uh, let's see how we can remedy that. These things should be broken apart. Go up to object, group, and ungroup. Now these are individual blocks. Now, because what I did is not perfect uh, square, but it'll work. Then just take your virtual segment delete key and delete those lines. And three different ways to do the same thing. The symmetry tool is really quick once you get the hang of it. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.